Now, Ashes 2021-22 is going to start. It will be a five-match test series between Australia and England, and this Ashes will be held in Australia. So, I'll be giving you my preview about this series, and uh, I will also be giving you my series prediction. Talking about this series, I am noticing that uh, many of the people, in fact, most of the people, most of the cricket analysts. and uh, ex cricketers they are favoring australia to win this series quite comfortably they are saying that australia will win it uh, by a big margin maybe by 5-0 or 4-0 or 4-1 and i can understand the reasons because in the last two uh, tours uh, to australia when england had toured australia then england had lost by a big margin to australia land lost by 4-0 to australia in 2017 2018 and england lost by 5-0 to australia in australia in 2013 and 14 though you shouldn't forget that in uh, 2010-11 england had defeated australia in australia by 3-1 but we will go by the current results by by more recent results and uh, seeing the more recent results that that on the last two tours england couldn't win any test match they had lost their nine test matches in australia their last nine test matches so australia on papers is looking quite favorites and that's why everyone is giving them the better chance but my views are slightly different here and i think that uh, england can give in a tough fight in this series in this ashes and i will give you my reasons i have three reasons for that and i will tell you all these three reasons the first reason is if we see the preparation of both the teams let's compare the preparation of england and australia okay talking about england team first if you see in the last two years England has played total 18 test matches and in the year of 2021 England has played total uh, 12 test matches two test matches at the start were in Sri Lanka and then England were in uh, India where they played four test matches then they came back they played two test matches against New Zealand and then again a home series against uh, India four test matches so those were 10 uh, tough test matches against the two top ranked teams in the world number 1 ranked team new zealand who is the world champions of uh, wtc and then the runners up and number 2 ranked team of test cricket india england played eight tough test matches against india in this year 2021 even though england lost all these three series they lost to india at home and overseas and also to new zealand they lost by 10 but still by playing the two top teams of the world i think england's preparation going into this ashes is really good maybe they couldn't get the results uh, against india and new zealand but they were uh, tough teams so maybe the experience they have had the practice they have had england team which the practice which they had against india and new zealand i think they can make good use of that practice that preparation against australia and now if we see the preparation of australia you will be surprised to know that the last test match which australia played was way back in january against india when they played that uh, famous the decider match against india and they lost the series by 2-1 and after that since january australia hasn't played any test match and you will again be surprised to know that in the last 2 uh, years in 2020 and 2021 australia has played only 5 test matches and four of them were against india in their home series and the one test match was way back against uh, new zealand at the start of 2020 it was a three match test series which australia won two test matches were in december december 2019 and one was in uh, 2020 so compared to england's 18 test matches in last two years versus australia's only five test matches i think uh, australia's preparation going into this uh, ashes is not good because nothing can replace real match practice real test match practice 
even though australia is looking strong on papers but uh, uh, i think uh, match practice is a really important factor and even in that series against india warner was not in form some of their players were, were not in form uh, even though warner now has shown form in the t20 world cup but t20 format and test format are two completely different things so i think uh, this is one factor which is really going in favor of england and then my second reason is the second factor if you see let's compare the performance of both these teams england and australia against a common opponent that is india their performance against india in in a similar situation that is at home in 2021 both england and australia lost to india at their home by 2-1 so does that show somewhere that maybe england and australia uh, are sort of an equals in test cricket right now maybe if they are going to play each other at a neutral venue so maybe the results uh, can be quite equal both the teams england and australia losing to india 2-1 at their home shows that there is not much of a difference between these two teams but of course uh, in this ashes series the series will be held in australia so home advantage factor is going to be there australia will have the home advantage and now coming to my third reason why i think uh, england has a chance in this series that australia no longer is an invincible team at home they can be beaten at home and similarly england at overseas can perform well and this is evident from their results in the last 4 5 years like you see australia in last 5 years have lost three home series they lost twice to india in 2020-21 and also in 2018-19 australia lost to india by 2-1 and australia had also lost to south africa by 2-1 in 2016-17 so somewhere this shows that if a tough team is against australia if a team is giving a good competition if a team is trying really hard against australia then australia can be beaten in australia australia is no longer an invincible team like they used to be around 20 years back and similarly if you see england england team even though their recent results has not been good but if you see their overseas results they they have uh, defeated sri lanka twice by uh, 2-0 once in 2020 and also in 2018 now many people won't consider this as a big achievement but still an overseas victory in uh, uh, sri lanka i think you can't really disregard it and also england uh, has one more achievement in last few years they defeated south africa in south africa in 2019-20 by a margin of 3-1 so you can't uh, uh, disregard that result also so somewhere it shows that england can surprise an opponent team in overseas conditions and australia is no longer the invincible team at home so considering these three factors the match practice and their results against the common opponent india the recent result and their recent records at home and overseas somewhere i feel that this series is going to be a close series the difference between these two teams is not uh, much and uh, since it's uh, it is going to be in australia so home advantage is uh, always going to be there so if i have to pick a winner i think england uh, though england is not going to win the series but uh, it can be a draw the series can be a draw or australia can win this series so either australia will win this series or the series can be a draw and now talking about the result the final score line Uh, since uh, according to my analysis uh, there is not any big difference between the two teams so a result of 5-0 in favor of uh, australia or 4-0 or even 4-1 i i think that is not possible that is not going to happen so i am going to cut off these three results australian victory 5-0 4-0 4-1 according to my analysis this is not going to happen the result will be much closer so i am picking up three results uh, i think either australia will win by a margin of 3-1 or 2-1 i think these are the possibilities or the series can also be a draw it can be two all and i am assuming that at least one of the match will be a draw 
because uh, it is also a covid time so the match can also get abundant and uh, maybe both the teams can also bat really well so that match can uh, end in a draw so i am assuming that maybe one match is definitely going to end in a draw and it can also be two matches so out of these three results i think if england plays really well then uh, two all can be a, a good option for them Two two can happen. I won't be surprised if this series ends in a draw. I know that uh, for many English fans, a result of two two would be like a sort of a a dream. They would be happy to take this result. But I won't be surprised. I think two two can happen, and three uh, one is the best I see. If uh, if I see from Australian point of view, that if Australia plays really well, that I then I think three one. can be a possibility because you also shouldn't disregard the return of ben stokes ben stokes is an x factor and he will be coming back he is now back in this ashes so i think that factor is also there but now picking up my uh, final prediction so my final prediction is uh, realistically uh, thinking i think that 2-1 seems like the best uh, option to me australia winning by margin of 2-1 so that is my prediction for this ashes series that australia will win it and the final result will be 2-1 australia will win two matches england will win one match and two matches will have no result uh, th- uh, those no result can be either draw or the match getting abundant so that we have to see so let's see how this series goes if my guess uh, proves correct if my analysis proves correct of course you will consider me as an cricket expert only if uh, uh, i whatever i am saying that comes correct so let's see how the series goes okay friends